Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be trying out the latest Sudachi Nintendo Switch emulator on my low end Mali GPU Android device. Now, ever since this Nintendo Switch emulator was released for Android, I never tested it out on any Mali GPU Android devices, including the one which I have right here. It is the Redmi K50i with Mali G610 GPU and 6 GB of RAM, out of which only 1.5 GB is available. So, very terrible RAM management. You can consider this as a 4 GB RAM Android device. Now, if you guys have watched my previous Sudachi emulator, videos then you guys know that it is the best nintendo switch emulator for android devices currently and i have added four types of games to try out on mali gpu devices for example a low end game an anime game and also pokemon game as well as a very high end pokemon game this will be useful to figure out the results for each category of games for example if low end game works then you can be assured that most of the low end games will work on a mali gpu android device if pokemon game work then you know that most of the nintendo titles like mario pokemon etc will work and if an anime game works, you'll know that most of the anime games, for example, Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, Jump Force, etc. will work on a Mali GPU Android device. Same goes with an high-end game. Anyways, let me show you guys the best settings for Sudachi Emulator on a Mali GPU Android device. Go to Advanced Settings, make sure to disable Limit Speed Percentage. Also, Dock Mode should be disabled. In terms of graphics, set the resolution to the lowest level as possible. I'll go with 0.5x resolution. V-Sync turn it off. FSR sharpness level make sure to set it to 0, anisotropic filtering keep it at auto and aspect ratio stretch to window. Enable force maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders. These are the best settings that you can apply. CPU backend is set to native code execution. And we can't really import any custom graphics driver on Mali GPU Android devices. With all of that out of the way, let's start by testing out the first game which is going to be Sonic Mania. Now recently I tested out Sudachi emulator on my low end Android device with a Snapdragon processor. And and I was really surprised with the results it provided me. And as Sudachi emulator is supposed to be the best Nintendo Switch emulator, it is very important to find out how well does it work on unsupported processors. And here we go guys, Sonic Mania has successfully started. At the top left corner, you will be able to see the FPS which we are getting. It is definitely way more than any Nintendo Switch emulator. I can assure you that we are getting 120 FPS and that too because uh, we have disabled speed limit percentage. So we are getting the maximum amount of speed possible while emulating this game on our android device this device has an 120 hertz refresh rate so that's why we are getting 120 fps sonic mania works which means that most of the low end games should also be playable such as bastion and much more if you want to try out low end games on your mediatek processor you can do that inside of the sudachi emulator with that being said the next game that we'll be trying out is going to be an anime game naruto shippuden ultimate ninja storm if this works then you can literally emulate any anime game as all of these games have similar architecture so let's find out uh, the game has successfully started let's go with naruto ultimate ninja storm 3 and see if it actually works or not i'll just go and skip this cutscene and there we go the game has successfully started now game always boots uh, this device has only 1.5 gb of available ram so i'm unsure of if the game will actually start these games always boot on low-end devices but then they are stuck during the loading screen and they never manage to go in game my hopes are pretty high for sudachi emulator so let's see if it actually works or not We'll go with ultimate adventure and this is the most important part will the game actually start there is the loading bar right here and there we go guys the game has actually booted I was not expecting it to work on my Mali GPU Android device and after seeing that it has actually booted I am very excited to see how well will it work on my device there we go at the top left corner we are getting around uh, 18 to 20 fps and one thing which I'm noticing is that there are a lot of graphical issues. Just take a look at this guys, we are emulating Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm on our Android device and it is not that bad, 20 FPS is definitely playable but the graphical issues like I'm not able to see anything afar, <laughs> it just makes it a bit difficult to play this game on my Android device. Well there we go now everything is being rendered properly which means that you can now emulate anime games on your Mali GPU Android devices. So that is nothing short of impressive emulating this game on a Mali GPU Android device that too with so less RAM should be impossible. Nonetheless, let's just go ahead and move to the next game that we'll be trying out. In today's video, it is going to be the Pokemon Legends Arceus. The reason why I want to try out this game is because if it works, then you know that most of the games should actually work. Well, there you go. 
this game literally crashed this is the main reason why i wanted to try out as this game is not working you cannot count on all the other games to work for example uh, nintendo games like legend of zelda all the other new pokemon titles except for pokemon brilliant diamond and let's go pikachu along with that mario games as well if legends rcr doesn't work then that's the end of the line anyways the next game that we'll be trying out is going to be pokemon scarlet now you might be wondering if legends rcs did not work how will this game work you are right <laughs> this game also crashed unfortunately so let me just go ahead and import pokemon sword into this emulator and see how well does it actually work and there we go guys i have successfully imported pokemon sword on my mali gpu device let me just go ahead and open it and see if it works or not you might be wondering saying that the previous game previous pokemon game did not work so why would pokemon sword work well, well it is an older title but still nonetheless you just saw the game literally crashes which means that Sudachi emulator is not that great in terms of compatibility of these games on Mali GPU Android device. Now which is actually the best Nintendo Switch emulator for Mali GPU then? As funny it may seem it has to be the Pine emulator as well as Ryujinx emulator. I have already tested both of these Nintendo Switch emulators on the same Mali GPU Android device and have gotten exceptional results. You can watch that video on the iCard above. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video. Sudachi is not the one to go with if you have a Mali GPU Android device. I hope that settles the debate that's going to be it for today's video though thanks for watching hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time goodbye